Hello, a very good afternoon to you today. My name is Temi Tayo, and I'm here to share the Open Heavens Daily Devotional with you. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional that I'm sharing is this one that is compiled by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. And Pastor, um, I'm sure you'll be asking, you know, um, Sister Tyler, why are you sharing this particular daily devotion or why not another one? Well, it's because as I prepared to enter into the year 2020, the Spirit of God instructed me to begin to share this particular daily devotional on YouTube to be very, very specific. And I was able to start that assignment in the month of June 2020. I shared the, the devotional also in the month of August, October December 2020 and I've resumed sharing in the year 2021 in the months of March and May and also in the subsequent months by the grace of God and I thank God for the opportunity. Amen. As I've said in my previous videos, you know, a daily devotional is fantastic but it does not replace your study of the word of God. What a daily devotional does is that it helps you to understand the Bible better and it also guides you because it has a daily bi uh, Bible readings and things like that but you must look into the perfect law of liberty yourself okay you must study the bible jesus said that man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of god and god the holy spirit is here to help us amen so today's uh, and you know the bible also says that we must study to show ourselves approved unto god you know a workman who needed not to be ashamed but rightly dividing and applying the word of truth amen now today is sunday may the 9th and the title of today's daily devotional is no hopelessness in god now pastor adeboye he led me to christ in october 1997 many years ago when i was in the university of lagos in nigeria in west africa and his style of teaching is that he will give you a few scriptures to read he will give you a memory verse and when you combine those two pieces of scripture it helps you to understand the body of the text and what god is you know saying to us at such a time as this so God is saying to somebody, you know, no hopelessness in God. That means if Christ is in you, Christ in you and I is the hope of glory. Amen. So there's no, um, no, for the Christian, for the one who believes in Jesus, there's no dead end. No, no, no. There will always be light at the end of the tunnel. Hallelujah. No hopelessness in God. And our scriptural reading is taken from the book of 2 Kings chapter 4 verses 1 to 7 and this is a very familiar scripture we read it on march the 20th when pastor was talking about a friend indeed you know so it's a uh, quite a popular verse if you have been going to church regularly you will definitely know this beautiful miraculous story amen so it is second kings chapter 4 verses 1 to 7 just seven verses and i'll be reading from the traditional king james today uh, just seven seven verses so may god bless the reading of his word now i'm going to be reading now it says uh, in chapter four second king it says now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophet unto unto elisha saying thy servant my husband is dead and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the lord and the creditor is come to take him take unto him my two sons to be born men and Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in the house? And she said, Then thine handmaid had nothing, not had, had not anything in the house, save a pot of oil. Then he said, Go, borrow thee vessels abroad from all of all thy neighbours, even empty vessels, and borrow not a few. And when thou art coming, thou shalt shut the door behind upon thee and upon thy, thy sons, and shall pour out into all these vessels, and thou shalt set aside that which is full. So she went from him and shut the door upon her and upon her sons, who brought the vessels to her, and she poured. And it came to pass, when the vessels were full, that she said unto her son, Bring me yet a vessel. And he said unto her, There is not a vessel more. And the oil was stayed. And the oil stayed. Then she came and told the man of God, and he said, Go, sell the oil, and pay the debt, and leave thou and thy children of the rest. Amen. May God bless uh, the reading of his word. Very quickly, I'm going to just explain these seven verses. So what happened is that a widow, uh, she was one of the wives of the prophet. Okay? And this man, this prophet died. And he died leaving a debt behind. So 
when the creditor who he owed money came after he had died and there was nothing that he could you know sell to get his money he decided that he was going to take out two children to be slaves to him so that they would work for him and be able to pay up the debt of their father but this woman did the right thing being um i, I would say she was a christian because she was married to a man of god who owed money for reasons we don't know you know um so but she did the right thing because <laughs> you get to a stage in life where you are um pushed to the wall you know you can be pushed to the wall and you look left right and there's nobody who can help you except god so she went to the prophet at that time remember this is the old testament she went to the prophet and even now you can still go to your prophet the bible says by a prophet god brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet he sustained them so she went to meet the prophet she wasn't going to meet the man per se she was going to meet the god that was at work inside him amen and she told him that you know this is the situation she uh, you can imagine this is a woman who has just lost her husband and now the creditor is threatening to come and take her children she i mean you know so elisha said to her what do you have in the house what do you have you know there's always god has given us we always have something you know she said all i have is a bottle of oil then he gave her an instruction and when that instruction comes we must always obey that instruction Elisha the prophet told her to go and borrow vessels, containers from her neighbors. And he said to her, borrow not a few. So she went out. And then he said to her, when you have borrowed the vessel and you have brought them in, shut the door. And that is saying to us that, you know, when you want to do something important, you don't have to spread it abroad, you know. He said, when you have borrowed the vessel, shut the door on you and your sons and pour the oil into the vessels. Now, she had just a bottle of oil. And this is where the miracle happened when she obeyed the instructions of the prophet. She borrowed the vessel, shut the door, and began to pour into the vessels, and the oil did not finish. The oil did not finish. She kept pouring and pouring from one bottle, kept pouring, kept pouring, kept pouring, kept pouring, kept pouring. Amen. And until there were no more vessels, and then the oil stayed. When she met the prophet, the prophet said, go and sell the oil, pay off the creditors, and you live on the rest. She became an oil distributor, miraculously, by the power of God. Jesus said, did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? amen and we thank god for these stories because they are true stories so there's no hopelessness in god if christ be in you you know there's you can never come to a dead end and god said my people will never be ashamed especially because this woman her, her husband was a servant of god you know so god did not allow her to be ashamed there's no hopelessness in god if you are indeed a child of god and you are a christian whosoever shall call upon the name of the lord shall be saved the memory verse is taken from the book of Job, chapter 14, verse 7. Job, chapter 14, verse 7, and it says, For there is hope of a tree, if it be cut down, that it will sprout again, and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. For there is hope of a tree, that if it is cut down, that it will sprout again, and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. You know, um, they thought that by cutting um, Samson's eye, um, hey, that, that was the end of him but the bible says his hair began to grow again so there's no hopelessness in god if god is in your boat you can't sink the pastor says when god steps into a situation any situation he turns things around god can transform a debtor to someone who lends to nations he can turn a destitute widow to be the richest person in our, her community Pastor said, this is a beautiful story in the scriptural reading of today. It illustrates how God can change anyone's story, provided the fellow is obedient. When you have an encounter with God, you only need to carry out the divine instructions given to you for your story to become a reference point of the wonders of God. The widow who had lost all hope had an encounter with God through his prophet Elisha, and her story changed for good. God is a faithful God. He's so faithful. You know, he is so faithful, so faithful, you know. And pastor says that we can learn a few things from her. You would see that she desperately cried for help. Beloved, in the, if any hopeless fellow will receive aid from the present help in time of trouble, Psalm 46 verse 1, such a person must cry to God in desperation. God is eager to intervene in the affairs of those who will cry unto him for help. Amen. Jeremiah 29, 13 says, And you shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. You know, this woman was desperate. I mean, I mean, how much could she take? She's a woman that served God and had lost her husband. 
and like see that was not enough because the enemy is so wicked you know he he his plan is to this to kill to just said he has come to steal to kill and to destroy this man had lost her husband you know and you know he he, he didn't stop they wanted to beat her down completely and then the creditor came and said i must take your two sons you know so what does she have left you know so she ran to god and she cried to the prophet because she knew that god has the answer amen and Jeremiah 29, 13 says, You shall seek me and you shall find me when you search for me with all your heart. Pastor says, Anyone who makes the effort to seek God will surely find him. However, as long as you decide to manage without crying to God in prayer, you will remain in your present situation and present condition. One man of God said, says that God has never failed to help anybody who says, God, please help me. You know, so when he says, When you say, God, God, please help me. God will definitely come to your aid. Amen. He's a very, pastor described him, that if any hopeless fellow will receive aid from the very present help in time of trouble. So that's his name. His name is the present help, very present help in time of trouble. He said, you call upon me and I'll deliver you. Call upon me when you're in trouble and I'll deliver you. You know, he says, anyone who makes the effort to seek God will surely find him. However, as long as you decide to manage without crying in prayer, you remain in your present situation. When you are, you are truly tired of your situation, like the woman in the Bible reading of today, you will cry out to God in desperation. The Bible did not say the widow had a chat with Elisha. Rather, it says she cried unto him because she was in desperate need of a miracle. She did not murmur before the prophet like, yes, see, uh, me and my husband, we served God. I don't know why this is happening to us. Why us? Why us? No, she didn't. She did not murmur before the prophet. Neither did she grumble to attract his attention, nor seek the sympathy of people. Instead, she cried out for divine intervention. Got heaven's attention and her problem was solved. Amen. May God solve all our problems in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What God is saying here through the man of God is that we need to cry out to God, you know. Don't keep your problems to yourself, you know. Um, you, you know, we must, add, we must, that's the prayer is, miracles do happen. Amen. Miracles do happen. Pastor says, as you cry out to God today, he will answer you. And every hopeless situation in your life will turn around for good. Hope will rise for you and you will sing a new song of victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, the memory verse said there's hope for a tree. There is no dead end. Even if they've cut the tree, the Bible says at the scent of water, it will sprout again and the tender branch thereof will not cease. Amen. You know, and the Bible, the, the action point that pastor is saying that we should cry unto God today and ask him to intervene in our situation, ask him to intervene in our nation and God will hear us. The Bible says he that created the ear, shall he not hear? He said before we call him, he will hear. And while we are yet speaking, he will perform now if you have not accepted jesus christ as your lord and savior there is no prayer you will pray the only prayer of a sinner that of somebody a sinner who is who is not born again is the, the only prayer of a sinner that god hears is the prayer of repentance amen so you must first of all accept jesus christ as your lord and savior ask him to come into your heart ask the father to wash your heart with the blood of jesus and ask him to give you the holy spirit and declare that jesus christ is lord over your life and over your, your situation and over your destiny you must be born again that's when you can now cry unto god otherwise god will not hear you amen so pastor says cry unto god and ask him to intervene in your situation in the mighty name of jesus god will never let us be put to shame there is no hopelessness in god god does not fail he doesn't have a track record of failing amen i hope this has blessed you thank you very much for taking time to listen to me and i hope this was not too long if you're visiting my channel and you have not subscribed please just subscribe to the channel tap the notification bell so every time i upload a video you'll be aware i look forward to seeing you tomorrow god bless you and have a wonderful and blessed time at church and may god answer answer all your prayers in jesus name amen